So in this section, let us look at the first core component of LangChain, which is called chart models. Okay. So let us now look at the official definition. A chart model in LangChain is a component designed to communicate in a structured way with LLMs. Right. So the LLMs could be GPT-4 LLM, it could be Hugging Face, an open source LLM, it could be uh, Claude Sonnet APIs, right? So chat models in LangChain offer sort of like an interface that you can use to communicate with pretty much any LLM that you want, right? So if I go to the official documentation in LangChain on chat models, you can see that there are different models right here, right? So there is a LangChain chat model for the Anthropic LLM. There is another one for Mistral right here. And uh, since we are going to be communicating with OpenAI's LLMs in this course, then this is the models class that we will be using. And this is the package that we will have to install. You can also see what each and every single model is capable of. We can also use tools using these models. Tools we will talk about in the later part of this course. And then we have the structured output as well. And if the models support JSON outputs or not. All right. So, so far we know that chat models offer an interface for us to communicate with so many different LLMs APIs, right? But now we need to ask ourselves a question. Why do we need a middleman right here? After all, we can directly call them, right? The answer is yes, of course we can. But as long as we're building smaller apps, but as we start building more and more complicated apps, then you can see it will start getting messy really fast. So here are some advantages of using LangChain model interfaces instead of directly calling LLMs APIs. So knowing these things are important because it gives you a high level overview of why we do certain things. Knowing that you can architect your own solutions better even after this course, right? So let's look at a few advantages. So reason number one, consistent workflow. LangChain's chat models unify different APIs, saving you from managing each one's unique setup and quirks. We will explore all of this pretty soon. Reason number two, easy switching between LLMs. If you want to switch between one LLM to another, LangChain's chat models make it very simple without a lot of code changes. Reason number three, context management. Working with LangChain's chat models help manage conversation history, letting you keep context across multiple interactions seamlessly. Reason number four, efficient chaining. You can connect multiple LLM calls and tasks in one structured pipeline, which can be a bit tricky to set up manually. And finally, reason number five, scalability. As projects grow, LangChain's interface supports more complex workflows, letting you focus on features and not API management. So in this course, we'll be mostly working with OpenAI's APIs. So we will need the chat OpenAI model right here. So if we click on this, you will find it very easy to understand the documentation on how to set this up. So let us actually go ahead and set up a chat model and start interacting with OpenAI's APIs. So I'll see you in the next section.